What you're seeing behind me, Window Stories, is actually the realized vision of Yoram Amir, who was this extraordinary Jerusalem artist and activist and conservationist, somebody who was very, very beloved and a real figure on the art scene here. He was someone who loved Jerusalem with all of his heart and believed that there was something wrong in the way that we uh, as Jerusalemites and, and the leadership of Jerusalem was treating the city. So Yoram would collect old windows that were thrown out in the trash and he believed these windows were actually diamonds. He used to say that Jerusalem was such a beautiful city because peoples from all over the world came here and saw her as a bride and they gave this bride gifts in the form of buildings that were like jewelry. And if the buildings were jewelry, then the windows were diamonds. And so he collected over 2,500 diamonds from all across Jerusalem. And what you see behind me is um, an artistic rendition of Yoram's vision for the city. We started investigating the architecture of Jerusalem and uh, we divided it into two um, different parts. One is the neighborhoods. And the neighborhoods have kind of uh, organic growth to it um, from a decade to decade, from year to year, from different peoples coming in and out um, of the buildings. And each one adds something to it. Uh, uh, one closes the balcony and the other put an air conditioner and, and so on. And it gets this kind of uh, patchwork uh, look and, and organic growth to it. And the other thing is uh, the holy buildings, which are more planned carefully and very um, detailed and very symmetric usually. And so we try to combine these two different aspects of, uh, of visual look of the city, of the architecture, into one creation. The origin of the windows of this collection come from very diverse um, backgrounds. It, it, they all come from Jerusalem, uh, but they come from different decades, different neighborhoods, and different um, people and religions. There's uh, windows made by uh, Jewish, Muslims, Christians, Armenian, British, and German, and from all over from every um, era of the last, I think, uh, 150 years or so. There's room enough for all of us here in Jerusalem. This is an artistic project, but there's a very, very deep social message in it.